girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hey, hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. Girl, I hope that you are ready because today we're going to be spilling so much tea about so many franchises. It's going to be insane. Okay. We are going to be talking about Vanderpump Rules right now because that interview of Bethany Frankel, if you can call it that, was a mess. People are calling her out and, you know, so many lies on that interview. We just need to get it like on some of this, you know. So before we start, you know, the disclaimer of the week. Thank you, YouTube, very much. But we need to do the disclaimer of the week is that no i am not doing one or two videos a day uh some I mean, actually many of you reach out to me saying like why are you did you stop doing videos are you leaving youtube again i was like what are you talking about no i'm not doing one or two videos a day i'm still doing my five to six videos a day but guess what youtube is not like sending all the notifications you know so there is a couple things that we can do um you can, of course, check the notification bell. See that the, notific the notification bell is on. You can unsubscribe and resubscribe again. Sometimes that does the trick. Or the easiest one, guys, I mean, wherever you, whenever you are watching this video, just go to my main page. All the tea is in there, okay? And if you're looking for a specific tea, a specific franchise, I have playlists for every single one of the shows, okay? So you can just go in there. All the tea will be there. And it gets updated every single day. Okay, so um, one of the things that was said on this interview, and I think the main point that Bethany really wanted to do with this uh, interview was like, oh my God, the exploitation of everything. Oh, you poor baby girl, you didn't get paid anything. Like, oh my God, like they exploited you for free you know you did all of these things and raquel was like acting like a victim like oh my god you know bethany like i'm i'm so poor you know and it was like a mess i mean not only bethany was like no prepare for this interview which mm, girl this is not even against bethany i mean this is a little bit against bethany but this is the thing i love bethany franco you know I love the thing that she does. I love the be strong, uh, you know, uh, thing that she has. I, I love, I have loved her for a very long time, you know, but this thing of, oh, you know, things are not going my way. Now I want to I just mess everything up. is just not landing the right way. And it's not, why is she doing this? Did she got bored with life? Is she looking for some excitement? Like, I just do not get it i do not understand what is she doing right now okay so they go into like the whole interview and like as i was telling you she says like like oh you you, you just you should have done like a lot of like uh more money like my interns got paid way more of what you did for last season and one of the things like they never actually talk about numbers you know it's like okay of course rachel being the Rachel that she is, you know, she was like, really? Oh my God, I'm being so exploited, you know? And it's like, how much do you think that, how much these interns are doing? Because now it has been confirmed that just for last season, just for last season, Rachel Levis did 361 or 64, let me just double check, 100, 361 thousand dollars for last season that's a lot of freaking money that's it's like if you're making like almost thirty thousand dollars a month you know so that's like a lot of money i don't have i have never seen an intern make thirty thousand dollars a month so if you know you're an intern for bethany franco then come forward with the receipts and let us know if Bethany is actually paying you $30,000 a month, because I don't think that is the truth. You know, Lisa Vanderpump uh, was caught by TMC and they asked her about it, you know, because the, 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 the reports initially were like, 
oh, she did $350,000. And Lisa Vanderpump confirmed herself that she did $361,000 for last season. That's a lot of money. Now, yes, probably she's not going to be seeing royalties. Probably she's not going to be seeing any residuals, which is the only part of the fight that Bethany Frankel is trying to do that I agree with. You know, I do agree that you should be getting paid for the rest of your life every single time that someone watch any of these shows you know because yes you are making all of these horrible mistakes that are going to be with you for the rest of your life and now they're out there for the world to watch right so that part i do agree but anyways she received a bunch of money and that's just for last season she has been getting paid for the past five years by Vanderpump rules okay so that whole thing, I mean, the poor, the, the victim mentality, it's just, it's, it's too outdated. I don't know who is coaching these people. Uh, Rachel did the exact same thing that Tom Sandoval did on his interview with Howie Mandel, which was taking zero accountability. Like, no, it was, it was just too bad. And I was, honestly, I was expecting more from Bethany. I was thinking like, oh, you know, you are all these like pro reality TV, wherever <coughs> I was way, I was expecting for you to at least watch the damn show, you know, and she, she being a Bravo celebrity, she, I mean, at least watch the show. If you're going to do su such a big, big, um, interview, her excuse, well, what, what they're saying is the exact same excuse that Howie Mandel did. Oh, Bethany just offered a free space to Rachel to say whatever she wanted to say, to be free, you know, to put her side of the story. Girl, her side of the story is going to be fake AM. What we need is an actual interview. What we need is someone who, yes, she can talk and she can put whatever, you know, she wants to put out there, but who also keep them a little bit accountable, you know? What about asking, like, did you, didn't you live in Sheena's place rent-free? Didn't you want to put men on Sheena's bed? Didn't Ariana had your back for so long? You know, like, so many things that needed to be asked. Not just, like, come here and just say whatever you want to say. That's dumb. She's never going to take accountability for anything. Well, I would, thought, I would think that after going to that rehab mental facility, she will come forward and say, like, you know what? I discovered that, yes, I did a, a horrible thing. I'm a piece of shit, but I'm working to make myself better. I, I will forever be sorry with Ariana, with Sheena, with all of this group, whatever. No. Zero. And guess what? The cherry on top. Bethany Franco did not pay one cent to Rachel for this interview. Oh, I thought that you were so concerned by these people, you know, getting exploited. It's like she couldn't wait for Rachel to put one finger outside of the mental facility. And she was like, I come here, girl, come here, you know, Ugh, come on. These interviews are so big and I don't understand why these assholes keep getting these opportunities like Howie Mandel, like Bethany Frankel, unprepared, don't know shit, don't even care to prepare for these interviews. And they, they, they just get all the money. They just get all the praise. Well, not even praise in this case because everyone is very against Bethany Frankel. But like, you know, like they get it, you know, and it's like so infuriating that People are not doing their job the right way, you know? So anyways, now you have it. Bethany Franco, I mean, in my opinion, she was literally exploiting Rachel Levis, you know? And Rachel Levis, well, I don't know what she did in that rehab because getting better was not one of those things. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Remember, I have a new podcast. It's called Let's Talk About This Mess, dropping episodes every Monday with very special guests and very exclusive tea. So check it out. It's on Patreon. The link is on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya.
Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.